you know, in the back of my mind, there's this constant questioning of, am I being treated this way because I'm a woman? Plus, am I being treated this because I'm a Korean and a an Asian? When you're dealing with, you know, you know, when the going is good and everything's working out, great collaboration, none of that. But when the going gets tough, you don't get what you want. There are conflicts and disagreements, and you, you being, you're being let down. You, you, you have this question: Is this because I'm a woman and I'm a Korean? And I really have to try hard to, you know, not to read meaning where there is no meaning. Basically. You know, when the the, the your your the, the other side has said something, to take that at face value, and not to not to not to be suspicious, not to try not to second guess what he you know he or she is saying, I think that's a very unhealthy uh, way to you know work on a daily basis. But it's so easy to get into that, and I've seen so many colleagues get into that mind trap. Especially when you're in a leadership position and when you have to deal with staff from so many different cultures and you have to really approach the situation just with basic trust. You're going to just take things at face value. Give people the benefit of the doubt. I really, really try to you know, push my, my confidence in people. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Give people the benefit of the doubt. To take that at face value. To take that at face value.